Saint Rose, Philippine Duchesne, Feast Day, November 18. Early Life Saint Rose, Philippine Duchesne, was born on August 29, 17. 69 in Dauphine, France. Her parents were Pierre Francois and Rose Eurosine. When she was 12, she and her cousin Josephine attended the monastery of Saint Marie Dien Hoc. She really enjoyed being there because she felt a strong attraction with God. A couple years later, in 1788, at the age of 19, she completed a training and vows in the visitation of the Holy Mary religious order. She desired to return to the monastery to serve there, but unfortunately, in 1792, the monastery closed due to the French Revolution. In 1801, after the end of the revolution, the monastery was damaged with only three nuns remaining. That is when Saint Rose decided to become the Mother Superior of the monastery. Quick fact. Saint Rose's cousin, Claude Nicolas Pirard, would later go on to be the Prime Minister of France. Convent of the Sacred Heart. In 1804, the creator of the Society of the Sacred Heart. Madeline Sophie Barat decided to take in Saint Rose and the three other nuns in her society. This began the lifelong friendship of Saint Rose and Saint Madeline. In 1815, Saint Rose opened the convent of the Sacred Heart in Paris, France. In 1818, St. Rose decided that she wanted to go to America to expand the society. St. Madeline was unsure about going to America, so she decided to stay in France while St. Rose went to America. After many struggles, she opened the first Sacred Heart Convent in America. The one convent she made in America expanded into six convents. The Society of the Sacred Heart later opened multiple schools across America. All was going well until St. Rose got sick. Quick Fact The first Sacred Heart school is still open in Florissant, Missouri. Quote, there are no difficulties except for those who worry too much about tomorrow. This quote was said by Saint Rose, Philippine Duchesne. Death in 1842, after a year of constantly moving and operating schools, St. Rose's health began to get worse. The other nuns sent her back to St. Charles, Missouri. 
She spent the last few years living in a tiny room under the stairways of a small chapel. She continued to receive letters from Saint Madeleine Barrett. She died on November 18, 1852, at the age of 83. Her body was buried in the graveyard of the Convent of the Sacred Heart. Quick fact! After St. Rose died, over 650 letters, four journals, and several smaller writings that belonged to her were found. Canonization in 1909, Pope Pius X declared Saint Rose Philippine Duchenne venerable 67 years after her death. Pope Pius XI beatified her decades after in 1940. In 1942, Saint Rose's body was moved to the shrine of St. Rose, Philippine Duchesne. Finally, Pope John Paul II canonized her on July 3, 1988. St. Rose is the patron saint of perseverance amid adversity and the Diocese of Springfield, Cape Girardeau. Quick fact! Saint Rose was often called, which means she who prays often. Quick overview. Saint Rose was born on August 29, 1769 in Grenoble, France. St. Rose's parents are Rose Eurozine Pierre and Pierre Francois Duchesne. St. Rose died on November 18, 1852, in Missouri, the United States. St. Rose is the patron saint of perseverance amid adversity and the Diocese of Springfield, Cape Girardeau. Prayer to St. Rose In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Gracious God, you fill the heart of St. Rose, Philippine Duchesne, with charity and missionary zeal and gave her the desire to make you known among all people. Fill us who honor her memory with that same love and zeal to extend your kingdom to the ends of the earth. We ask this true our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The end. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to know more about other saints. Thank you.